Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do another project share. On my previous video, I did an embellishment box um, based on the tutorial from Scrap the World, and I decided to go ahead and make another one. So this one, the recipient does not know that they are receiving this. So I'm gonna go through real quickly and show you what I did, because I need to get this all packaged up and in the mail tomorrow. So the paper line that I used is this one here from DCWV called Samantha Rose. I've had this collection for maybe a year and a half, maybe, I think, and it has rose gold in it as well. So these are just some of the pages that are in it. You guys may have seen this before, but for those of you who haven't, I got this at Joann's and they may still have it there. So I made this embellishment box and on my previous one, I did not do the box, the, uh, the book that Tamika did on hers, but this one I did. So starting with the outside, this trim right here is this trim right here. So it comes on a spool like this, it's 1.8 meters long, which is six feet, and it's got the square mesh and the round, it's got a combination of both, so you can just cut off whatever you want. So I've used this for this, and at the bottom here, I use the square ones. On the top right here, I put another handle on this one, and I use two more square ones over here. I use a flower for my stash, and then I also use these flowers here. These flowers came from Frank Garcia's Prima, the Dulce collection. So it's like um, this one right here. It's got multiple colors in it. It's got like turquoise, pinks, yellows, creams. So that's why I used these paper flowers as well. These paper flowers I got from AliExpress. I've had these for about a year now, and this is the package that they come in. I don't know if they still sell these, but they have different colors in them, because I know someone's gonna ask me if I find the, um, the store that it is, I'll link it below. So, and then, um, yeah, that's what I did for this. And then let me give you a quick turn around. I'm gonna put my sticker on the back as usual. And this paper pad is also double-sided paper. So this front uh, flap here is what is on the back of this blue paper here. So it's double-sided. On the inside, open it up. And then this paper is also, it also has the gold, rose gold foiling on it. And it's of roses. And then this is the book. Take it out. So this is the book. I also put a handle on it so that it's easier to take out of the box. More of this square bling on there. And then this is the cover. And I love the way this turned out. So I use the same paper. And then on the front, um, there were some tags that came in the paper pad, in the paper pad. So I cut these two out. This one I cut out from this paper and use the back side of it. And then I used um, some flowers that I had in my stash. These ones I created from a paper punch. And then I used the leaves again. And then I used these letters um, that are rose gold color also. And then I put some ribbon on this tag. I also attached some bling where you would pull the ribbon through. I just put some rhinestones in there. Okay, so on the inside, this is what it looks like on the inside. I've had these blue bows in my stash for a long time and it came in perfect for this project. And then I made some more of these punched out flowers that I showed you guys before. And these are from BB Crafts. Um, I'm supposed to be doing a project review for them. That's coming up. You guys keep an eye out for that real quick. I have some projects that I've completed for that. So there's that, and then I made her these dangles, this dangle here. And this is one of those flower dangles that I made. I have pictures of it on my Instagram. So that's what I made for her. And I'm not gonna take this off because I have this stuck down so that it doesn't flop around in the box. So that is my project share. So I hope the recipient is going to love this because I do and you guys can check out more photos of this on my Instagram if you like. You guys take care, stay safe, and like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. 
Make sure you hit that bell so that you know when I'm posting new videos. You guys take care. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.